So here we have a clementine that was peeled in exactly one peel, and here we have half of it right here. Look at this circle, right? Let's assume it has a radius of r. The area of this circle is pi r squared, is it not? So look at this. If we take this and put it right about here, we could try to trace around it like so. All right, there we go. There's one of those circles right there. And right about here, there's one. And here we have about two, right? Let's see. There's part of one right there, right? And another chunk right there. So if you rip this off, let's see. So two, and I bet you this one makes another, that's kind of like three right there. We have three right there. Let's center it a little more. There we go. And finally, right here, it's still a rough estimate, but here is kind of like four. Four of these circles would fit on the surface of the sphere, and that's why the surface area of the sphere is four times the area of that circle right there. So if that area up here is pi r squared, then the area down here, the surface area of the sphere, would be four times pi r squared. And now you know.